Besides using XIQ to change the switch operating system, the 5520 switch command line interface can be used to change the OS from XOS to ROS and vice versa. It is important to note that out of the box, the 5520 runs XOS operating system as a default persona. There are three different options to change the 5520 switch OS. First option is the initial boot menu. If the switch has not been previously configured and it's in a factory default state, an administrator can use the initial boot menu to change the default XOS OS to ROS. If for some reason the initial boot menu prompt was skipped, the operating system can still be changed with the help of second option, which is the startup menu. In situations where the 5520 has been initially configured and used as an XOS switch, but then needs to be deployed as a ROS switch, the administrator can change the firmware to ROS by installing the ROS firmware image on the switch. With a single command, the 5520 deploys ROS OS image and switches over to ROS after a reboot. And here we have it. After the firmware update, the switch OS has changed over to ROS. Now that the 5520 has been successfully converted to ROS OS, a persona change can be made to change it again back to XOS. This is also achieved via XOS firmware installation on the switch. The first command is adding the XOS OS to the switch. Once that is successful, the firmware is activated. It's yes to confirm the switch OS change, and last, the switch is rebooted. After the reboot, the 5520 is successfully converted back to XOS from ROS.